I, I see more and more people are talking about this issue of critical race theory. And uh, I know that it is something that uh, we see, uh, you know, various sectors of uh, the, uh, uh, especially of the ruling class in opposition to teaching critical race theory. And uh, I think that, uh, that most of the people who've introduced this concept, and there's there one or two particular uh, uh, educators who uh, introduced that conceptual, this critical race theory uh, concept. I think that they are uh, well-intentioned and, and often are the white people who love us and they want to make sure that uh, you raise all of these uh, horrible things that's happened to African people in history and to indigenous people. Uh, and, but I, I think that uh, it misstates the contradiction. Uh, because I, I think we can get uh, lost in this discussion about the race theory uh, and, and uh, liquidate the issue of colonialism. And colonialism uh, uh, um, is uh, a condition that is imposed uh, on the people by foreigners and aliens, while race concepts usually uh, expresses uh, opposition to how uh, a part of the group is treated by other parts of the group. Colonialism tells us that we are not part of the group, uh, that even this concept of citizenship for black people here, uh, for African people uh, who are in uh, what might be called South Africa is fallacious. Uh, that long time ago, even during the struggle against uh, segregation or desegregation, uh, they, that, that it was understood there was such a thing as de facto uh, uh, and de, de jure uh, uh, segregation uh, where, uh, uh, by, by law, de jure, uh, there is no segregation, but, uh, but in fact, de facto, there is segregation. And this is what you have by law, uh, African people have been made quote unquote citizens, but in fact, we were not citizens, de facto. And all you gotta do is look at the status, the data uh, that, uh, that what critical uh, race theory might provide us with to see that we are not citizens. And so it's not a matter of racism attacking us or harming us. Racism is something that's, uh, I think uh, the, the fight against racism might be good uh, for the uh, e emotional well being of the colonizer, but it doesn't do a damn thing for the colonized. The only thing that does something for the colonized is to overturn uh, this colonial relationship, which is uh, uh, where you have foreigners and aliens who've taken control of our lives and things like that and impose definitions on us. Uh, like racism as a, as a response, as, a, as what it is we're fighting against. You're fighting against racism, you can do that forever and never get rid of colonialism. You can just be involved in trying to change things within the existing uh, 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 political and economic configuration within the colonial context without getting rid of colonialism. So uh, I, I, you know, I, I know that uh, people are excited by this notion of critical race theory because it introduces into the discussion uh, things that uh, the colonizer has to keep hidden uh, from the colonized in particular uh, and, uh, and, and from others uh, because uh, uh, even others uh, from the colonizer nation who are, are, are familiar with some of this stuff it can become sympathetic uh, to uh, the African people upon whom uh, racial oppression uh, uh, might be occurring, but that still doesn't change the reality that we live under colonial domination. So I hope, I hope uh, that was helpful. Who was it? The revolution is.